Good morning! I have got an unboxing to do today and it is a knife. Um, so if you are excited to see what I got, um, stay tuned. So I was contacted by a company called Holtzman's and they wanted to send me a knife and they did send me a knife. So I am going to do a, um, this isn't going to be really a review. Um, it's going to be more of an unboxing and show you the product and then I may do a review later. Here is the box. It's a pretty box. Holtzman's. So this is the Holtzman's. It's a survival bushcraft knife from Holtzman's. And it comes with a free gift. And this is instructions on the sheath and um, you can wear the sheath horizontally or vertically. And I'm going to show you all that. Uh, but um, free gift for you is a belt clip, looks like. So um, here's the knife. And this is the baby bloodline, known as the baby bloodline. Oh, look at that green. And I did pick the color myself. There is different colors. And I'll put the website down below. And you can go. They have all different kinds of survival bushcraft knives. So. Ooh. Pretty cool. This can be also worn as a neck knife. As you can see, there's paracord or cord. I don't know if it's real paracord. Uh, but this is the sheath. So you can wear it as a neck knife or um, on your belt, either horizontally or vertically. So it is a 2.95 inch fixed blade knife with D2 steel. It has a G10 non-slip handle. And on the sheath, it actually has the um, diamond sharpener on the sheath right there. So that'll be interesting to check that out. Uh, the website said it was paracord, but 550 paracord. Hey. I don't know. But the website says it is. Or you can also use this chain. And it also comes with this ferro, ferro rod. Ferro rod is 2.71 inches matches green that's cool I like how that snaps in there really well So I do notice that the ferro rod will fall out if you don't attach it. So it has this little bungee cord. You can attach it like that so the ferro rod doesn't fall out. That's pretty cool. So I will show you how I attach the, the belt clip to the sheath in a horizontal position or a vertical position with the provided screws. But for now, I'm gonna wear it uh, 
as a neck knife and see how it feels. But they do give you a Allen wrench to be able to remove the screws and the uh, to attach the belt clip. Another interesting thing about the belt clip is it can be either um, right-handed or left, left, left side or right side of the, however you want to carry the sheath. But, let's put it on, see what we think. I think I might want it up a little higher, because it's kind of low right here. I'll wear it for a little while and see how that feels and might need to do some adjustments on the length of the cord but you can do that really easy with this cord and then it also comes with don't fall down it also comes with the um, chain so I don't think I like the chain as much as I do the cord So I'm going to take the paracord off and put on the pocket or the clip, the belt clip. And one thing I noticed when I set this down here is the sheath has a hole in it. So you can look at this thing over and over and over, but nice to have a drain hole in case it does get wet in there. So um, anyway, let's put the belt clip on and I think I showed previously how to that the box came with the instructions on how to do that so we will follow the instructions and I am going to first put it in a horizontal mode um, I have decided that I prefer it not as a neck knife. It's kind of heavy. And I wore it a, probably about four hours fishing. And it got a little heavy. So I probably won't wear it as a neck knife. Um, but will wear it on my belt. So let's see how easy it is to change or to put the belt clip on. Here's the belt clip. So let's put that on. So obviously I don't need the knife for this part. So I'll remove that and I don't need the ferro rod. So and this just unties. So pretty easy there. They provide an Allen wrench. So we'll use that. Oh, it's got a... It also has a Phillips to remove this. So I'm going to lay it down just like the picture shows and we'll go from there. So I'm probably not going to show every step here. I may speed it up, but...
So if I wear this for right-handed, this is going to, my belt will go through here. And I'll close that. And the knife, let me put the knife back in there, is going to be away from my body by that much. So is this going to fit? It is. I didn't think that was going to fit. Plus, it's more snug. It's tighter. I like that. Um, then you don't need the cord. Whoop. I'm in the wind. All right. I'm going to use this for a while, test this out, see how I like this away from my body. So one of the things that I really like about the belt clip is that you push a button and it opens. So you don't have to actually take your belt off to, or loosen your belt to put it on and take it off. That is such a cool feature. So, so the configuration that I have right now for the belt clip is horizontal. The, the horizontal, the knife will be horizontal. I like carrying it on my belt right here because it becomes concealed. Easy removal. So now we're going to start a fire using the ferro rod. It's little, but it can do the job. So I'm going to do this is a cotton ball with some Vaseline on it. And let's see if we can get it to start. There you go. Very cool. This is, well, Start a fire right there. Here comes the wind. <laughs> this is a cotton ball, or it's not a ball, cotton swab that has alcohol on it. So I want to wrap up this video on the review of the Baby Bloodline knife that I received several months ago. And I've been testing it out on and off for several months um, in different capacities. I um, First impressions right out of the box, I loved it. <laughs> it was, um, I like the size. Let me take it out of the... I like the size and how it fits really well in your hand. And I'm always beating, trying to beat the wind and it's not happening. I've been trying to do this for a while and so I'm in the banner here and wanted to get this video out. So when I opened the box, I immediately uh, fell in love <laughs> with the knife. I love the Kadex sheath and how the knife snugly fits in there. Um, it's not loose, and um, the sheath holds the knife really, really well. The other part that I really like is the belt clip, how it pops open, and you don't have to loosen your belt to put it on your belt clip. You can just push the button, 
put the clip around your belt and then snap it in place. That is an awesome feature. I like carrying the knife horizontally, so I never did put the belt clip in the other position so the knife would be um, vertical. I decided I really like it horizontal, um, and I showed in the video how I was wearing it. So I really like that. Overall, I love this knife. Um, I love everything about it. The knife, the sheath, the belt clip, and the ferrule rod. The only thing I see that um, using the knife in this configuration is you're not able to um, use the entire sharpening uh, diamond stone sharpening edge here because you see this clip is above the sharpening stone. Now you wouldn't have that problem if you put the belt clip in the other position where your knife was vertical. But I have enough um, ways to sharpen knives that that's not a deal breaker. So um, really, really have been enjoying this uh, knife and I've been using it a lot. So, um, and it's held up really good. Even with the batoning I did, you can tell it's still in good shape. I'm going to leave the link down below to the website and um, you can go over there and check out. I'm not going to put a price what the price is because it may change. So um, just click on the link below if you want to look at pricing. But um, I have really enjoyed this knife and I thank them for sending it to me and um, I'll be using it for a long time. Mm -hmm.